Hello, today we're going to learn how to submit a discussion or group discussion. The difference between a discussion and a group discussion is that in a group discussion, only your group members can see your posts and reply to them. And that might be a small number of people. So it's very important in a group discussion that you participate early and often. In a normal discussion, the entire class can see your post and participate by replying to your post. Anytime you have a discussion, it is very important to look at the due date. Oftentimes, the due date listed is the final due date, and there will be multiple due dates listed in the directions for your discussion. So look very carefully at the directions. It's also important to see how many points the discussion is worth, and that's listed as well. Make sure you follow the directions of each assignment very carefully. Answer every question listed, and if you have any questions, you can ask the teacher. To reply to your teacher's questions, you'll click on this long bar right under the assignment that says reply. That's where you will post your first reply. Click on the reply button and you'll see a text box pop up. You will type a sentence or a paragraph or an entire essay replying to your teacher's questions. Make sure that you have followed the directions and if you want to add an image after typing in your text, simply type enter after your sentence click embed image, then you can add a website address. You can click on Flickr and do a search. I'm going to search for a glacier. Choose the image that you wish. I like this image here. Make sure that you have a caption for your image so that people with accessibility issues who cannot see know what your image is. Click update. And there you go, you have your image. To make your image bigger or smaller, click on your image and then use your mouse to click on the corner and keep your finger pressed on the mouse, drag it to make it smaller. You can also add in another picture by once again clicking on embed image. This time let's add an image from our device, our computer, or our phone, or our tablet. Click on canvas this time, click on my files, click on Upload Files, make sure you're in the right folder, find your image, click on your image, click Open. Once again, you need to properly um, caption your image, Earth with matches for the arms of a clock. Update, and then you have your image on your post. Once again, I'm going to resize it by clicking on the image, clicking on the corner, dragging that corner to the size that I wish, and then I can attach a file by clicking here and looking on my computer, attaching the file I wish if I want to attach a Word file or a PDF, and then I click on Post Reply. For my classmates to respond, all they have to do is click Reply. Also, they can like my post by clicking on the like. Sometimes that option is not available, but sometimes it is. So click reply on the bottom left hand corner in order to reply to your classmates. You can ask a question, you can give a peer review, you can write a comment. What do those pictures whoops, mean? Then click post reply and you're done. You can also embed a website address. Just go to the website, select it, type control C or right click, click copy, go back to um, your reply, type what the website is about, this is a climate change game, select it, click link to URL, and then right click and press paste. Select paste or you can type control V, 
click insert link, and there you go. You have a website. You can also make a link. That's a link to a website. You can also add a video, a YouTube video by clicking on insert media, clicking on your website. Once again, type in control C to copy or right clicking and selecting copy. Going back to your reply, um, right clicking and selecting paste or typing control V, click OK, and there you have it. You have a video attached to your reply. To submit to your teacher, just click post reply. Good luck with your assignments and thank you for your time.